that's Gus. Half a Gus. A Tibetan Mastiff in malt. The hair will only come out when it's ready to come out. That's what you get. <laughs> like wool. I think it speaks for itself what it is, doesn't it, really? And that's only a fraction of it. When it comes out, it comes out by the sack full. It's just a bit on YouTube, look. <laughs> I might get a few more hits. <laughs> this is what we use to get everything out. And that's a rake. You're going to nip me some socks out of this wool, love. Yeah. Some of them like to eat this hair for some strange reason. You're going on YouTube, Gus. That's Gus. That is the dog whose face appears on my profile. Handsome fella. He's certainly more handsome than me. That's why his face appears on the profile and not mine. That's very true. What I can't understand is why some Tibetan Mastiffs malt at different times. Why? That's Gus. Just started malting a few weeks ago. And there's Leah. Not a sign of any malting. That's excellent fodder for the birds to make their nest with. I love that stuff. That's Toby Joe the Terrier. He doesn't really malt. Not like the Tibetans. What we do, we singe him, we scorch him, look, we hold him to gas fire. And it all burns off. <laughs> Don't we, Toby? Actually, almost lent against the gas fire the other week. <laughs> Nearly went up in smoke. <laughs> That's Sheila, just over a week on her thyroxine tablets, just certainly showing early signs of improvement already. A bit livelier, happier.